<coughs> so we have a model CP3525 and we're going to tear it down. Um, we'll start with the back. Uh, there's ten screws on the back side, not counting that plate right there. Some of the screws we're going to be taking off here today are going to be <coughs> silver for the internal ones. <coughs> so let's see, I think I'm going to start with uh, popping this corner off here. Um, so in the back side, there are two silver internal screws. That's it for this corner. Take a screwdriver and pop this tab right here up, and that will <coughs> hinge out. Just like that. Okay? Goes back in reverse order. I didn't take out any toner cartridges and I didn't take out the uh, fuser or the internal transfer um, module. <clears throat> There's one screw here that holds it from the other side and then and that's an internal silver screw. And then this will slide down. Uh, and I guess it's not going to slide down unless I take that corner off. Yeah, so I gotta take that corner off first. So this has gotta come off. And I can show you down here. We might have to take that tray out. <coughs> there is a tab right here. And if you just go just like that, it'll pop right out. Okay? And of course. This has got to come out. Come on. Okay. And that should slide down now that now that, that has popped out, it should slide to the left. And it comes out. So that's out. Uh, pop that to the left, the back side comes off. <coughs> the top tray is going to come off, um, but we I guess we have to get the display off first. So, on the side of the display, there is a screw here, internal. There is a screw right under the display. This screw looks a little bit different than the internal screws. Internal screws uh, are all consistent. This one's more like a plastic, plastic screw. So, anyway. <clears throat> um, pop it up, slide it towards you, and it will come out. It's got a harness on it with cable management. Just unplug that. And okay, so for the for the top there's a screw here. 
under the display, so that's why you have to take the display off first. And then on this side, we got two screws, one here, and one here. Oops, actually, that's wrong screw. Yeah, let's put that one back. I'm not sure. It's this one, the one on the plastic. So that comes off. Two there, one on the front by the display. What happens is this will push towards this side of the printer, which is <coughs> the left side as you're looking at the printer. So pushes and pops right up, just like that. That's how you get that top up. All right, so now you have it down to um, the side that we're going to be working on is this side here. And uh, so I'm just going to get busy with tearing it apart. Make sure we got the right viewing. Yeah, okay, that should work. Maybe I'll zoom in a little. <clears throat> so on this panel here, there are 11 screws. I'm going to start by the ones that are facing this way. These are usually forgotten about too when you're trying to reassemble it unless of course you've had a little bit of practice on this. So those two are facing that direction. And then these two are perpendicular. It's nice to have a magnet. <clears throat> Another one down here. Actually, there's there's two of them down here, so I'm just going to go ahead and take them both out. And then there's a center one here. <clears throat> so so far, that's five screws. All right? One, two, three. Probably didn't need to take out that other one. Anyway, I know there's 11 screws on this. Um, let's go back and count more. So that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten. to pop this up, this pulls out. We're going to unplug the pink or the cable here, this cable, and also there's a ribbon cable that goes to that board behind. That unit is out. And then we're going to see that behind here is the 11th screw. Might have been, been able to see that before, but I, I don't know. It's 11 screws, that's out. <clears throat> Notice the toroid on this one. This one goes to that board we just unplugged. Okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to disassemble this bracket. There's a screw here. One screw. Bracket comes out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and unplug the cables. Um, there's nothing plugged in here. Okay? And you'll note that um, these two right here didn't have anything plugged into it either. Okay? But let's unplug this. One, two, ribbon cable, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven on the upper side of the board. Now down the side. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten on this side of the board. Okay. And then down on the bottom. One, two, three, four, and three ribbon cables. 
five, six, seven, eight. Eight on the bottom. Now we can take off these PC board screws. There's four of them. take those PC board screws and screw them back into the metal brackets because they are different screws there's no sense of mixing them with our other internal screws um, okay I'm going to jump right down to the power supply board okay uh, can't remember. I'm just going to count them out as I go. So, and I am going to include on this power supply the brackets that need to be pulled out as well. So here we go. Oops. Don't tighten, loosen. So we got one here, one here, so two, three. Four, five, six, seven, and I heard the bracket fall. There it is. Fell right out. Interesting. Yeah, it comes out as one bracket. Uh, although, And those screws that would have prevented that. Yeah, so those three screws, that bracket comes right out. I'll set that aside. So I think we're on eight. And there's the ninth one right behind that bracket that fell out. Now on this one, there are three connectors up here. Double red black and white and a small purple one and that is power supply so the power supply units out and now I think I'm going to go and try to take this bracket out yeah. one screw there so this bracket has some screws down the side there's one bracket on this side, or one screw, so that's the second one that you need for that bracket. Uh, down a little bit. I think there's one right down here behind stuff, so right in the corner of the harness, there's the screw. Yep, that's three. And the last one is here, four, and that's going to pop out. Now it does have the harness stuff on it, so um, just pulling that out to the side is probably okay. Uh, the next thing we're going to take out is this board here. And uh, there are, hmm, that screw might have been missing, and I think, well that was, is that that screw there? Yeah, okay. So that was part of the metal screw, or the metal plate. So here, we got two screws. These are PC board screws, and uh, take that one out. I, I'm referring to these as PC board screws because they have washers that are 
uh, detached washers. They actually are separate washers. These other common screws are built-in washers. Uh, and then you just pinch, 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 and then one more pinch, right? I think. And that one comes out. And I don't think I got those all. And there's a clip there, so you just got to get those plastic pinches. And, you know, honestly, you can just put this right up on top right now. Oh, it does separate, so that board's out. So here's the problem area. Um, solenoid right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this harness out of the plastic pieces, for the, the management plastic um, routing, I, mean, I don't know what you call that, channels, and take this stuff right out of here, okay? Now, this is the first time you've seen it, it looks like it's all one piece, but that's just a small piece of plastic. So I'm going to detach the yellow, yellow cable, okay, the yellow harness, and that's the solenoid we're going to be replacing. Now, in order to get that piece out there, there's a tab. Let's see if we can zoom into that. Okay, so this tab right here you just pull out with your screwdriver and this harness basically won't fall out. You got to take it to the right, make sure your wires are out of it, and then I pull it down towards me just like that. So it rolls in and then goes left. That's the harness for the solenoid and reveal we see two screws. Those two screws release the plate, the secret access panel. Those are normal screws and out comes a solenoid. And uh, it can be a little tricky to get it out of that connector area. There's a uh, channel. And honestly, if you can apply downward pressure on that, it comes right out of it. Just like that. And then you get your connector in and feed it back out through and you're done. You got it. Okay. So, let's back up here a little bit. So we've taken out everything we need to, including this thing, to get to this solenoid. This is the switch that sticks and gives you an error, 59.F0. Okay? Um, it is possible, I haven't really done many of these, but it is possible that this board on the driver assembly is bad and we have to take that whole thing out. Uh, but that might be for a different video. This is just to replace the switch. And of course, that took about 10 minutes. So we can put it all back together when we're done.